Good morning ma'am, I am Raymart H. Talon and this is reading weight measurements on a precision mechanical beam scale. Taking a patient's weight accurately may seem insignificant, but even being off by a few pounds or a quarter of a pound can lead to medical errors, from drug dosage miscalculations to diet that may cause the patient to worry about the results. Inaccurate weight calculations can negatively affect the outcome of the patient's care. When it comes to weight measurements, accuracy is essential. By the end of this video, you will learn to how to interpret the calibration markings on the precision mechanical beam scale and determine the weight indicated on a precision mechanical beam scale. The part of the precision mechanical beam scale that we will focus on today is the balance beam. This is the balance beam, which includes the upper and lower poise bars. The poise bars weight, also known as the large weight indicator and small weight indicator, and the balance bar, and also the window. Here's a general concept of how the scale works. First, make sure the scale is calibrated by placing the large and small weights at the zero markings. Then, make sure the balance bar is floating in the center of the balance window. Once you have the patient on scale, adjust the large and small weights until the balance bar is once again floating in the center of the balance window. If the balance bar is touching the top of the window, you need to increase the amount of weight on the scale. If the balance bar is touching the bottom, you need to decrease the amount of weight. Remember, the goal is for the balance bar to float in the center of the balance window. Now that you have a general concept of how the scale works, we will now focus on interpreting the calibration markings on the upper and lower poise bars of the balance beam. The lower bar markings increase in increments of 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 150 pounds, and so on. The upper bar numbers increase in increments of 2 pounds. The long bold lines are whole numbers. This line indicates 0 pounds. This line indicates 1 pound. And this line indicates 2 pounds, 3 pounds, and 4 pounds and so on these lines represent fractional numbers the first line in the quarter is one part the second line is half and the third line is three fourth in the quarters this is constant throughout the entire scale and there you have it you have learned to interpret the calibration markings on a precision mechanical beam scale now let's proceed to measuring the weight of a child below five years old let's go Conclusion. Therefore, anthropometric measurements can be used to identify nutritional status in the population more correctly by calculating composite score of the measurements and its non-invasive and relatively correct way of identification. I also conclude that we must thoroughly understand every anthropometric tools for us to 
successfully determine the correct way in performing or using the precision mechanical beam scale or any anthropometric tools available. As a nutritionist dietitian in the future, we must able to be fully equipped in terms of knowledge and skills so that it will be more easier and accurate for us to determine nutritional assessments. Thanks for watching.